Alrighty, so I promised I would do a video on each and every one of the initiatives or constitutional initiated statues that we're voting on this year. And I will keep true to my promise. But we are voting on a lot of things, some of which are rather trivial and some of which I need to provide context for. Among the latter is California Proposition 52. So let me go ahead and explain how this works. Medicaid is a program run by the federal government, along with Medicare, that provides uh, health insurance to people who are poor and can't afford it themselves. It's similar to Medicare, except for it's for poorer people rather than older people. Now, the way Medicaid funding works is the state has to provide a certain amount of funding for it, and in return, the federal government will match that funding. In the fiscal year 2015 to 2016, uh, California received $4.4 billion from the federal government in exchange for $4.6 billion paid into the system. Now, the way California collects this uh, Medicaid fee is it charges private hospitals a small insurance, or rather a small uh, payment, so that they can get Medicaid um, benefits. In uh, the fiscal year 2015 to 2016, the, gov the uh, hospitals still managed to get a net gain from it of $3.5 billion. The issue that this proposition brings up is the general uh, fund money diverted from the Medicare collection program. $900 million from that program are being directed to the general fund rather than the program that helps pay for the state's Medi-Cal contributions. Now, we are voting on this in November to decide whether or not the voters should approve changes to the fee system, basically to make it more difficult for the legislature to divert money away from the Medi-Cal payment program to the general fund. Now, I've looked up arguments for and against. It looks like most people are supporting this, voting yes, which means that uh, the voters will have to approve changes to uh, certain fees from hospitals. Before I express my opinion on this, I, I feel I need to go a little bit on a tangent here. This is kind of the problem with California's proposition system. Instead of voting on extremely important things or important social issues, we end up voting on things like this. Um, I understand the reasoning behind this, but again, as I said in my previous video, on Proposition 51, why do we even need to vote on this? Is it because people feel that the $900 million going into the general fund should better be spent on uh, Medi-Cal payments? Well, we're already getting a net gain from the federal government, even though we're already spending uh, quite a bit on Medicaid. Uh, in, in addition to the hospital fee program, when you include the money that California diverted to it, we spent $8 billion and got $4.4 billion back, so we're still gaining a lot of money. Is that extra $900 million really going to mean a lot? And it's going into the general fund. And even if you can argue that the state of California doesn't spend a lot of money on things it should and goes a bit off the wire sometimes, I really don't see why we need to, an entire proposition on the issue of $900 million. I am leaning towards uh, no, but at the same time, the no vote basically says the legislature can change how this is redistributed without any consent from the voters, which again is something I feel the legislature should do to begin with. But really, I mean, why do we need to vote on this? If it turns out that a massive amount of money taken from the Medicaid program is going to other things and we're not getting enough Medicaid money, that would be one thing. But it seems like we're doing pretty well on this. So if it isn't broke, why fix it? I don't know, honestly. Um, I don't really understand uh, why we need to do this, but I'm going to vote no simply because I really don't want to have to vote more on these things in the future, and as long as the program is being adequately funded, I don't think it's necessary. You can disagree if you'd like. I, apparently I'm in the minority opinion on this, so it'll probably pass anyways. But honestly, we have enough things to vote on as it is, and this really seems like a legislature issue. Thanks for listening, Andrew Walker out.